Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is a highly requested one, if you can tell from the title. It's a what I eat in a day, and I have not done one since <laughs> last year. Um, but no, really, I, it's been a really long time since I've done one of these, and I thought that I would share with you guys, because I am back on the keto diet, um, to give you guys a little background, like a quick background. Um, I did keto for quite a few months last year, and then over the holidays, it's like near impossible, so I took a break, um, and I'm back on it, because I just find myself um, feeling so much better and having so much more energy and just not being bloated honestly is the best part but I'm also trying to lose a little little bit more weight and so that is what I'm doing I wanted to share with you guys what I like to eat in a day on the keto diet and again like I said in my last one which if you guys haven't seen my last what I eat in a day I'll link it down below because I talked about a lot of things in that video if you want to go check it out I also wanted to link a other video that I've done and it's how I got healthy and if you're maybe not interested in the keto diet but you're still interested in like being healthy for the new year I still follow a lot of the things that I mentioned in that video and maybe it might be helpful for you guys if you are looking to start a health journey because I have technically lost like basically 20 pounds from doing this and just like changing the way I live my life and I wanted to share that with you guys I did mention this at the beginning of my previous what I eat in a day video but I wanted to reiterate in case you guys didn't see that or don't care to see it but that is just respecting each other's personal preferences I ask for you guys to respect what I choose to put in my own body because it's my own body and I respect what you put in yours because it's yours and you can do what you want kind of thing and there's just so many different lifestyles these days that I think it's really important that we do remember to respect all of the choices because at the end of the day they are choices and they're up to us individuals I just had to mention that and you're probably aware that I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist so you know just take that with a grain of salt if you're gonna be doing a lifestyle change yourself make sure you do your own research talk to your own doctor that kind of thing and um, if you're new here subscribe I hope to do more of these videos in the future and if you do like them give it a thumbs up and like I said I'll have those other ones linked down below but let's go ahead and get into what I eat in a day and this is one day out of all the days that I'm eating so this day in particular is kind of random but I didn't work out today normally I dance or go to the gym but today I had a rest day so I ate a little bit less than I normally would just because I wasn't doing some physical activities so um, just be aware of that going into the video the first thing I wanted to mention is I had a dentist appointment this day so I actually intermittent fasted without intentionally doing it. So I didn't start making breakfast until I got home from the dentist around noon and I always make eggs and avocado for breakfast. This has been my standard. Every time I do keto, this is what I have for breakfast. The type of eggs vary, but lately I've just been kind of putting a little bit of oil on my frying pan, heating it up and then cracking an egg onto the pan and flipping that over, adding salt and pepper, letting that cook. I cooked them a little bit too much today, but that's okay, they were still yummy. There's honestly just so many ways you can cook eggs and so this is what I've been doing recently but when I first started doing keto last year I always made scrambled eggs and you can add a little bit of whipping cream or heavy cream into them, fluff them up and honestly there's just so many ways you can cook eggs. It's such a good standard and it's really good for you. So I started off with eggs and then I also like to accompany that with my avocado so I tend to eat my full avocado in the morning sometimes I'll eat half and then have half in a salad if I know I'm gonna be wanting a salad later but today I had a full avocado with my breakfast because I only had two eggs again if I'm hungry I'm gonna just make more of these things so I'll have like three eggs instead of two but I wasn't that hungry you know I was hungry but I wasn't that hungry so I like to cook that and then also if you are starting the keto diet you have to make sure that you get a lot of electrolytes so whether that's bone broth or salt in your water if you're in a pinch um, but me personally, I like to have these Vega drinks. I will have them linked down below. I think you can probably buy them off Amazon, but they basically taste like Gatorade. They're zero cal, no sweetener, and it just tastes honestly like Gatorade, but it has a ton of electrolytes in it, and it tastes really good. And again, on the keto diet, you're not gonna wanna have any juice, but I like to think of this kind of as a juice replacement because it's sweet and it tastes delicious. But overall, this is my breakfast for today and usually what my breakfast looks like most days. Always gotta be right there, don't ya? Don't ya? Look at him! He won't ever leave. I love you, but get off the 
counter. Okay, so it's about that time in the afternoon that I need something, and today was kind of a weird day, like I said, because I went to the dentist this morning, so my whole morning was just like so different than it normally is. So um, I haven't had coffee yet, and I really want a coffee, so I'm gonna make myself <laughs> A coffee so I'm gonna brew myself an espresso and I need to fill this up first you guys have seen me do this before can you you're literally walking right where I am stepping stop it let me live my life so this is the exact way I would make my coffee in the morning as well. I always take this kind of size glass. I use whatever Nespresso capsule I have. Um, I like to put in the Trader Joe's Organic uh, Virgin Coconut Oil. This is the one that actually tastes like coconut. I'm kind of getting over the taste of coconut, if you know what I mean. So I think the next time... I think the next time that I buy coconut oil, I might just get the unflavored one, if that makes sense. So anyway, I'm going to take a little bit of this, probably about, I don't know. I never like measure it. You could also add ghee or something, but I think like that's, that's a lot. Whatever. Okay, so I'm going to put that much in. I usually just keep it on the spoon and then position the cup under the stream of the coffee to melt it off the spoon beautiful isn't it and then I'm also going to add in a little bit of collagen peptides from vital proteins I don't do a full scoop of this um and I always like to add this into either my coffee or smoothies but coffee I find it makes it a little bit creamier so I'll probably do like a half scoop about day much just put that in and making sure I put that in before the coffee brews I just find it goes easier that way and then I make my coffee Well, that is pretty much what my coffee looks like I'm gonna add in some cream um, but I did want to mention if you guys are into sweetening your coffee there's a lot of different like sweetener options that are locale whatever um, I recently picked up the Trader Joe's Trader Joe's organic liquid stevia and it comes in a dropper looks like this um, if you guys are into that highly recommend this I personally kind of don't really like sweetening drops or I use it only kind of in matcha um not really my coffee anymore because I don't really like the taste and you need a very little amount speaking of matcha though I should show you guys this so if I don't want a coffee I will go in and have a fat tea and matcha these come in packs of 10 or this box has 10 packets in here and it just looks like this and you add it um or you boil some water and add it in give it a good stir with like a whisk a little baby whisk and then uh it's really good you can also add heavy cream to make it more of a matcha latte type of feel i really like these on um like afternoons that i want more of a matcha kick rather than caffeine um and then i'm gonna go in uh mostly with heavy cream like <laughs> this is usually what i'll add is just whipping cream actually is what it's called um so i'll do a little bit of this into my coffee um, and then if I want to add a little bit of sweetener I have this cheeky uh, coffee creamer it's the so nice French vanilla soy creamer and I'll do just like a very small dash of this I think I have one open yeah I'll use the one that's open. Um, just like a little dash of that just to get a little bit of flavoring in there and that is how I make my coffee in the morning or the afternoon or whenever I'm having it if you guys have never heard of the Fat Snacks brand, you can buy their stuff on Amazon. They're really good. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me talk about um, that and their cookies. So they also sent me these um, Fat Snacks cookies. They're not sponsored, but they knew that um, I'm into keto and so wanted me to try them. And I'm really grateful because these cookies are bomb diggity. They have three different flavors. Um, the chocolate chip one is probably my favorite. You get two in each pack. Um, there's peanut butter and then there's also lemon which are surprisingly good and taste like kind of like a lemon loaf um, and so yeah if you guys are interested in checking these out I'll have them linked down below because these are a great snack and sometimes you just crave like a cookie or a cake or something of the same texture and you just you just have to have it and so if you have options that are you know within the keto diet realm then I think that's great and the fact that they're from Amazon is also great so it's about 2.30 now, so I'm gonna go drink this, hang out on the computer, probably have a shower and deal with my hair, and then I'll probably have a snack a little bit later. I'm not really sure what I want. Like, I kinda had breakfast super late, um, so maybe I'll come back and do like a salad or like cucumbers or something. I'm not really sure what I'm feeling, but I'm gonna enjoy this in the meantime.
major improvement since the last time you guys saw me. I showered, I did my hair, I did my makeup, got ready. Um, it's about 10 to 5 now and I'm getting a little bit hungry so I think I'm gonna have a really big glass of water, some cucumber, and probably a cheese string because I love them and I will show you the ones that I'm talking about. And then probably in about an hour or so I will start making dinner. Typically I'll wait till Cody gets home, we'll make dinner together, but tonight is one of those random nights where he's going to a movie. Um, so I'll make dinner and then just save half for when he gets home. That's probably him now. Um, and yeah, so that's the plan. So snack now, dinner later. As you guys know, cheese is allowed on the keto diet, so I always like to have cheese strings around for when I want something to snack on, but also these are great to throw in your purse on the go if you know you're going somewhere for a bit. You don't know if there's gonna be keto options. So these ones are from Trader Joe's. I really like them. They have five grams of fat, zero sugar, and zero carbs, so those are really good, and they peel like a regular cheese string. And then these ones we recently discovered, these are the Armstrong Smoke flavored. So if you like like a smoky cheddar or cheese or whatever it is, these are really great. I think there's like seven grams of fat in this. Um, um, and zero sugar as well really great and I just like how they're individually packaged because they are good for on the go so I'm actually gonna have one of these um, with my little snack platter that I'm gonna make here's the completed snack platter to hold me over until I start making dinner I have cucumber blueberries berries are some of the only fruits you can have on keto so I like to take advantage because I love fruit so I have a few of those the cheese string and then some pecans which are fewer in carbs than some other nuts and I'm not a big snacker like this is super rare normally I would just have three meals a day but felt like snacking today so this is what I came up with and I'm pretty happy with it also these are like unsalted plain you know they're they're an acquired taste but they're not so bad and then I'm gonna have that with a big glass of water and then I will see you guys in an hour for dinner it's about an hour later and I'm starting to get hungry so we're gonna start making dinner I'm gonna preheat my oven to 425 Tonight, we're making chicken. When you're on the keto diet, it is best to obviously have the highest fat option available when it comes to anything, pretty much. So for our chicken thighs, we always buy them with the bone in because it's much higher in fat than like a chicken breast or without the bone, honestly. Um, and so I have my oven set to 425. I'm going to be heating the pan with some avocado oil, which is the best oil to use. I'm going to season each of the breasts, or thighs rather, I keep saying breasts. I'm so sorry. Um, each of the chicken thighs with like salt, pepper, and then seasoning salt, and then flipping it each like side about four times, four minutes, you know, flipping it each minute, you'll get the idea. Anyway, that's for the chicken. And then for vegetables tonight, I'm doing Brussels sprouts, and I'm gonna show you guys how I like to make them. They are so good. They taste like they should be in a restaurant, um, and I have been really craving them lately. They are a little bit higher in carbs than some vegetables on the keto diet, but Honestly, like a couple times a week, I like to offer something a little bit more carby. Um, so Brussels sprouts or like a cauliflower mash with garlic, that kind of thing. So, um, but tonight I really wanted to show you guys how I make these because they're just so good. Once you have your Brussels sprouts shredded, you can go ahead and add a little bit more avocado oil to your pan. This is a fresh pan. You could totally use what you did for the chicken or like whatever else you're cooking that night, but I personally like to start with a fresh pan and I'm going to let that heat up quite a bit before I actually add the Brussels sprouts on. And then I'm gonna stir them, cook them for about five minutes and I'm gonna add salt, pepper, and onion powder to them.
Once it's been cooking for about five minutes, I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of water. This is going to make it sizzle. And then I'm also going to be adding in a little bit of the heavy cream or the whipping cream. Um, yeah, I kind of just eyeball this, so bear with me. So the chicken should be done in about five-ish minutes. I always like to check on it, and I personally like when my chicken's a little bit burnt, so I'll probably leave it in for a bit longer. Um, and then for the Brussels sprouts, once I've added in the room temperature water and a little bit of cream, I kind of just let it simmer for a bit, reduce the heat, and let that sit. And then eventually I'll turn off the heat and just like let it wait for when I'm ready to serve it. And of course, if you're not doing keto, you can totally make the Brussels sprouts and the chicken as well. It's like not only keto, right? So um, if you didn't want to add like the heavy whipping cream or anything to the Brussels sprouts, then you could just skip that step and roasted Brussels sprouts would be good anyway. And it ranks Snicks. Snicks' favorite vegetable is broccoli. He steals it off of our plates. And here is the completed dinner. The chicken thighs are actually quite small, so I grabbed three of them. If I'm hungry, once I'm finished this, I will continue to drink water and see if I'm actually hungry. And then if I am, I'll just have more chicken, to be honest, like, because I've cooked kind of a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much it. As for the Brussels sprouts, they smell so, so good. And you start off with quite a large amount, but then once you do cook them, they do shrink in size. So it's a pretty good amount. And of course, if you do want to do this and you haven't like had enough fats today, you could add butter to this or also have like an avocado on the side of this. Totally up to you, but um, this is what I'm going to have. The last little thing I'm going to make tonight is some tea and have a little piece of chocolate with it. So I'm making some Earl Grey tea. This is decaf. I really like this with a little bit of the whipping cream or heavy cream. So that's what I'm going to do here. And then this chocolate bar um, is my favorite. These are from Trader Joe's and they're so, so good. I mean, they're not like the most keto, but they're not horrible. And a little piece of chocolate at the end of every day is uh, how I live my life. So that's what I'm going to have. I'm definitely one of those people that always gets a sweet craving right before bed, so that's why I like to have some tea um, or have dark chocolate on hand, like I mentioned. Another thing that I'll reach for sometimes, this again isn't the most keto, but whatever gets you through. These are smart sweets. I love the fish ones, the berry ones. Um, this has three grams of sugar for the entire bag, and what was it, fiber? 28 grams of fiber, which is crazy. So these are really good. I wouldn't eat an entire bag in one night, but, um, they're good little treat or there's the keto cookies that I mentioned earlier or sometimes you know you just need a spoonful of peanut butter so oftentimes I'll just have that and it'll curb the sweet craving that I'm having so that is pretty much it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did and you want to see more give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out and be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you're on keto if you're thinking about it have you done it in the past did it work for you yes no talk to me down there and um yeah I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video have a great day. Bye.